Katie's Precious Angels Reborn Nursery. Hi guys, it is Katie and welcome back to my channel. So I have not been on here in a while doing a painting video. Um, right now I am working on, well these three right here are going to be bald womb babies that are for customers. So that is why I got them turned around um, because the womb babies are technically surprise babies. So I cannot show you guys these babies. I just, last night, I just did their first eyebrows layers. I do two, sometimes three eyebrow layers on my babies. I like, some people like the eyebrows to be exactly the same. Some artists, um, you can tell their sculpts mostly, or their reborn babies mostly by how they do their eyebrows and stuff. And most of them are very, very asymmetrical. Um, they put the exact lines in the exact places. And I just think that, this is my personal opinion, I hope nobody takes offense, but I just think that looks very dollish because humans, including babies, eyebrows are not exact. You know, a lot of women try to get their eyebrows to be exactly the same, but they never are 100%. So I think with these babies, now you do try to get similar, similar you know, you don't want it to be two different, one up too high or one too low. You know, you try your best to... Um, get them similar, but exactly, I don't think that, in my opinion, I don't think that's um, appropriate for these babies because humans do not, especially babies, do not have exact little lines for their eyebrows. So, anyways, I'm excited to tell you guys, um, I'm actually a little embarrassed that it's taken me this long to get to this sweet little baby, my lighting. I got my very bright um, reborning light on. Right now, so I'm not sure how this lighting is going to go, but it's okay. Um, so this is um, Avery, baby Avery, and Sassy actually won this baby from me quite a while ago, but you guys know I got sick um, pretty bad, had a pretty bad MS flare, and I had to keep up with my paid baby, so this one got put on the back burner, um, but I am caught back up. Um, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and in between time of working on these three, I'm going to go ahead and work on Sassy's baby because I do have other giveaway babies, um, uh, giveaways going on on my channel that I would like to get to and pick the winners, but I need to get this sweet one done first. So she does have her first layer of eyebrows and then I will go in more and fix them up to how I like them. Usually it's two layers of eyebrows that I do. Um, two different layers, like I'll bake this one on, and then I'll go back in and add um, little um, tiny lines where I think they need to be. That's just how I do it. We all do reborning different. But, um, and I make, with reborn sculpts, for me, it's, every baby face is differently shaped, so you have to try to match the eyebrows of what you think would go with that exact baby face. I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm making sense to me, but you guys know. So, yes, this is baby Avery, and this is sassy uh, Vermont mom's um, giveaway baby that she won a while ago. So, also, I am working on a custom that um, is almost finished rooting, uh, but it's a Saskia. I think I already showed you the painting, but I will be showing her after I get finished with her hair rooting. So, yeah. So here is baby Avery, and I figured we would do some um, mottling on baby Avery. So I'm going to get, here's my mottling sponges. These are my special mottling sponges. I also have refills for these. Um, when these sponges get too bad, I do reuse these. I bought these from McPherson's when I was at the doll show. Um, I can pull them off and re-glue the new Motling sponges. And if you look, you can kind of see the Motling. So I really like these. So these are my purple, blue, and red Motling colors. By the way, for you guys that don't know, I use heat set paints. So um, there's a lot of waiting um, with heat set paints because um, you have to put it in this oven over here to get the paint to stay on. 
and you have to bake it and then you have to let it cool before you can do the next step so um but you have as much time as you want to put the paint on there and if you mess up you can take it right off until you bake it now after you bake it you can't take it off unless you strip it so that's what i like about um heat set paints there's two different kinds of reborn paints there's heat set and then there's acrylic well, what I like about heat set is you have as much time, and if you make a mistake, you can take it right back off there and try again as long as you haven't baked it. With air dry, you only have a few minutes to get it on there because it just dries with the air. And if you mess up, then, you know, I like to have the more time. But the good thing with the air dry is you don't have to bake it. You don't have to wait for it to cool. So heat set takes longer um, to reborn, but with air dry... You don't have to have as much waiting. The baby, it takes a lot less time to reborn a baby with air dry. Because, you, like I said, you don't have to have the waiting period. Okay, so I'm going to get my paint set up for my um, mottling. And we will get right to it. Okay, guys. I am back. Um, I still... Um, have not purchased the light that goes on top of my brand new camera so I did take and put some more light behind me to see if that looks better because this light is my very bright reborning light and I think it really really throws off this camera because it's so bright and it's so focused on one area so it makes it look kind of funny so okay so I got my um, mottling sponges out here as what they look like the red, the purple, and the blue mottling colors. And what's cool about these, these have little handles, and it makes mottling so much easier. I bought them at McPherson's. And then, let me find them. And then I have these for if this little part gets ripped or too bad, replacement sponges that I can glue back on there whenever I need to. But these are supposed to be for more than one time use. You, you just always use it for the same color. Um, and they're fine. So, but yeah, I do have replacements um, when I need. So, I thought that was pretty cool. So, I hope the lighting is a little better. I don't know. I'm still working with this new camera. So, I haven't done a painting video in so long, it feels like. And, um, so yeah, we're going to get to modeling now. For the three mottling colors, um, I usually always go blue first. And these colors, here's the mot the three mottling colors. I don't know if you can see them. I, it's, oh, I'll show you in the bottles. So he, here is my pre-mixed three mottling colors that I use. And this is heat set paint. So here's my blue mottling, my purple mottling, and my red. And they do look dark, guys. But once you get them in your pan, you can see when you pick it up, it's, oh, I can't do it with that. It's very translucent. You probably can't even see that. But these are all, they look like really bright colors, and they will show on the baby. Um, you do want the color to show on the baby. So, um, they look very dark. Um, but they are like translucent. You just can't tell because they're in my... Um, paint pan so all right so we are going to get started on the sweet Avery giveaway baby that needs to get home to her mommy also I wanted to let the people know that has customs with me this baby is not going to make it any longer for you guys to get your babies I just wanted to make that very clear so no one thinks that um, free babies are being put before their baby um, you guys' babies will come on time as we talked about when you first ordered um, so just know that me doing this giveaway baby is not taking away from your babies or the time that we have planned um, for me to be finished with them. So I just wanted to make that clear because I know that that could be kind of annoying if you're waiting for something from somebody and you see that they're working on something else. But I promise you it is not going to make it any longer. There's a little black dot on that head. Let me see you for a second. Okay. I'm going to say, what is happening? No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, let me make sure that little face ain't showing. Okay. Um, but, yeah, just know that um, 
we are still completely on track for your babies to be home uh, when we first talked about it. So yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. Um, I just really need to get this giveaway baby going because she or he, I cannot remember if Sassy wanted a girl or a boy for this sweet um, Avery sculpt, but um, I will get in touch with her and we'll talk about that and it's a really cute little chubby sculpt, but yeah, we are going to do the mottling now. My mottling colors, this is the only three steps that I do not bake in between, meaning I will do the blue mottling, wait till that dries, but I, I sometimes I bake it, it depends, because I do customs, um, it depends on what the mommy wants. Um, if she wants the mottling to be, be, to be very pronounced on the babies, I will bake in between each layer, but if the mommy wants it, um, like, it's so hard to explain, if the mommy wants it to be a lighter mottling, not so pronounced, then I will not bake in between. Um, but you can still, even when I don't bake in between, you can still see the coloring on there. Just when I do bake in between, you can see more of the different colors than if they are not. Because when you don't bake in between, they can kind of, they don't blend to where you can't see the mottling. But the colors go together a little more. I don't know if I'm making sense, guys. I try my best. Okay, so we're going to start with blue mottling. And here is the blue mottling sponge. Oh, I love this camera, you guys. So we're going to dip this in the blue. Put it all over the sponge. And then I do dab off because you don't want too much to be on there to where it's going to be like bleeding down on the baby or anything. Make sure you don't have anything on the hand you're going to pick up the baby with. I'll go ahead and do the head first. For me, I like to focus... Um, the biggest part of the mottling, kind of like on the forehead, and then around the temples. Now I do the mottling um, many places, you know, it's so hard to explain. I do the mottling um, quite a bit, but like I said, I make it blend in a little more in some spots. Now the blue and the purple, I will not take over the nose. I will not put it on the nose. I use the red for more around the nose area. So there's how I do the blue on the face. And then this is a little baldy, so I will go ahead and put some random blue on the head. Now, there's three mottling colors, so if you see me missing some spots, that's okay, because the other mottling colors will go into there, if that makes sense. You know, to kind of, like I said, these are very, very translucent. Now, this is wet, so it's it's going to be darker right now than it is when after I bake it, okay? So, and I will show you after I bake the baby what it, what it you know, the coloring. All right, I need to put some right there by the eye. Nope, I got it on the nose. Nope, don't want you there. I, like I said, I like to use the red for the nose. And then, of course, you want to put a little bit of coloring on the ear. You don't want there to be spots where there's, you know. Okay. I need a little more right there. Okay, so. Oh, don't fall. Yes, I know it's looking a little crazy at the moment. But that's because it's not dry, so it's standing out more. After I bake, you will see that it's, it lightens up. So there is, let me get on this neck a little bit. There is the blue on the face, the blue mopping. So we're going to lay that in the oven. Now I'm not going to bake this. I'm going to go ahead and do all three colors without baking. And then I will bake it for, for this baby. Okay, let's move along. Let me take, put more color. Guys, I really want to get back into uh, more painting videos. I uh, haven't.
haven't done many lately. I don't really know why. There's not really a reason why other than medical stuff. But, alright. Now, I'm just going to take and put some blue mottling where I'm wanting it. And again, if you see spots that there's no mottling, that's be color. That's be color. <laughs> Good. Don't you guys love my backwards talking? Um, that's just because the other mottling colors will be um, in them areas. Because like I said, they're all translucent, so it, it doesn't quite um, stand out like it would seem to because of the coloring is so translucent. Okay. So there's that leg. And then plus when you do the layers and stuff, when you put the layers on, um, it does lighten stuff up even still. This baby has only one layer, one starting layer um, of paint on before I'm doing this. So this is like, other than the eyebrows, this is like only the second layer for this baby. So it's got quite a few more layers to go. Come here, leg. Um, now, if you don't have these kind of um, sponges that I have with the little handles, it or if, or the cut out the already cut out kind of sponges to do mottling. When I first started, I actually plucked my own mottling sponges, like from the um, the cosmetic wedges, and you just take a. Uh, I want to say toothpick, but it's absolutely not toothpick. You just take a um, pair of tweezers and pluck out the circle things, kind of like that. And then trim the edges of it. And then would be your mottling sponges. Alright, so there is that one. I don't even know if you guys can see me painting... Or not, honestly. I'm hoping that I'm keeping it in the thing because I'm not looking at the camera. I'm sorry if I'm not. I'll try to do better. I'm kind of out of... Um, I haven't really been in the mood to do videos. And I, I ugh, it drives me crazy because I love doing my YouTube videos. I just haven't really been in the mood like I am usually to do them. I'm trying to get back to it. I go through spurts of really liking to do live videos, and then I'll go for a month with just trying to upload, um, at, at the very least, three times a week. But I like to, if I'm not doing live videos, I, I like for something to go up every day, but uh, lately that has not been happening, just because of health stuff, and um, sometimes my MS makes me sleep a lot. So, yeah. All right, we'll set that one there. All right, last arm, and then we'll move on to the next color. I think there's still enough paint on here. Yes. Alright, so there is the blue mottling color. Now again, these are the only three layers that I sometimes do not bake in between. Most of the time, every other layer I do on the Reborns, I bake and let cool in between all of them. And sometimes even with the mottling I do, but sometimes I don't. It just really depends. Okay, next layer. So here is my purple mottling sponge. And we're going to move on to the purple mottling. I did have to make a new purple, so I need to check this and make sure it's not too light or dark with the purple. So I'm going to start on a leg because, yeah, it's fine. Okay. So now I'm just going to go in and wear, you know, I'll still put some over some of the blue, but for the most part, I'll put it where I didn't put very much of the other 
colors. And a baby is not modeled everywhere. Some babies are, some babies aren't. Just depends on the baby, you know. Okay. So there is the purple layer on out. Again, this is not baked, so it's looking kind of crazy, but you'll see after I bake it, it will not be, the color will not be as pronounced as it is right now. Okay. So we're going to put some purple on this arm. And then after the purple, we will do the red. I love really, really nicely modeled Reborns. You guys know I like the darker painting style, and I know if you guys are not artists or haven't been in the Reborn world for very long or don't have that many babies, you probably don't understand what I'm talking about, but there is a very light painting style that some artists like to do, and then there is the darker, not dark as in tons and tons of color, I don't know how to explain it. It's so hard to explain. But once you get, you know, more than five Reborns, and if they're from different artists, you'll get what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now the head. And I have not baked this yet, but you can see it did kind of um, uh, settle down after it dried, and it's not as dark. The blue is not as dark as it was when I first put it on there. You got to really learn because it does look a lot darker when it's not dry or not baked. So sometimes uh, that can throw people off. All right, so here we go. Go back to the forehead. And right around the eyes. And then I go up, put some on the ears, and then just randomly. on the head. I don't um, use the purple as much as I do um, the red and the blue. I don't really know why. <laughs> I just don't. Alright, now we got some on the cheeks, a little by the eyes. Alright, so there is the purple on the head and face. There we go. Looking a little crazy, but I promise you'll see what I mean. Alright, now we can move on to the last Motling color, which is red. And I did over put in these colors because I am, like I said, I have womb babies up here that need mottling, so I will be working on them. All right, let me check my red because I don't want it to be too red. Ooh, that's a little dark. Hold on. I did have to add some um, more paint in the red, but I didn't have to completely remake it. All right, we're good. All right. Here we go with the red, which red stands out the most in Motling, like on, on real babies, 
the model will be, I feel like red and blue stand out the most on really very modeled babies, real babies. It looks so crazy right now when uh, it's not baked, but you'll see what I mean. After I bake, <laughs> looking cray cray, looking cray cray, but it'll get better, it'll get better. So there's one leg. I'm going to go ahead and lay that in the oven because we are going to bake after this layer. And I will not make you guys sit here and wait for it to bake because it takes quite a while. It takes quite a few minutes and it, that will just... Yeah, so I will shut this off when I need to bake. I will bake and I will let it cool off. And then I will come back and show you what it looks like after the mottling colors have been baked on. Okay. There's the red on that one into the oven and we'll get the arms done and then we'll do the head <sighs> I like to use this big paintbrush for support of the legs and the arms I don't always use it for the legs but um, the arms is, are much holder plus I drop things a lot with my MS so it makes it easier for me to hold with the brush. Okay. And that one. And then this arm. Now I'm going to get the head, and I'm going to lay the two arms in the oven, because they are ready to bake. All right. There go. Now, we just got to do the red on the sweet baby's face. Let me put some more red on here. Next, I'm going to put the veins on this baby. Sometimes I go in different orders. It's just kind of what I'm filling up to. But, you know, ultimately it's okay as long as there's some things that need to be in certain orders. But other things is completely fine if you do it in uh, different orders. <laughs> the red really stands out, so it really looks crazy until it's baked. <laughs> Take 
and and I even it out just a little bit in places I feel like All right, looking crazy. I'm looking crazy, but you will see it after I bake it. All right, now I'm going to bake, and I will be back and show you guys the results. All right, guys, I just took her out of the oven. She is still very, very hot, but I figured I could go ahead and end out this live because I really, or this video because I really want to get it up for you. So here is the baby with her. Motling. Now, you guys have to remember, it may look a little dark to you still, but that is only because this baby has no other layers except one. This baby will be getting many skin tones and many other layerings, so it will be muted a little more than what it is right now, but I'm loving how her motling is coming out. I think this, I think she wants it as a her. I'll have to ask her again. I totally forget. But yeah, so here is the baby, and this baby still obviously needs the lips done, and quite a bit still done. Alright, and then here is the baby's arms, and mottling, and then her chunky chunky legs, and little feet mottling. So there we go. That is the three layers of mottling on this sweet one. If I do go live to do, or not live, why do I keep saying that? If I do um, decide to uh, paint anymore it probably, and, and record it, it probably will be on this baby because like I said, these three right here, are womb babies that cannot be shown like what babies they are or up close because they are womb babies which are like half surprise I do give the mommies that buy womb babies from me some say and like helping me pick the sculpt not completely but um, I have like 25 questions that I send to the person so I can pick a baby I know they would like and I also get info on how they like their baby painted so wound babies are not completely just 100% a surprise. They do have some say, but the whole point is for it to be like a real baby. So you won't know the exact sculpt until the wound baby is there. But I do have a question of, do you like the more regular um, looked faces on reborns? Or do you like the big expressions? Or do you um, like open or closed eyes? You know stuff like that and then I go into the painting how the paint they like their painting style as well so all right guys that is all for this one I really want to get back to doing this um, I used to do painting videos all the time um, but yeah all right guys so that is all and I'll talk to you all soon bye